I don't think a attacker slash home invader will know the difference between a 9mm or a 45 cal in the head, neck, or a double tap in the chest. One of the great things about firearms in America is variety. One of the bad things about firearms in America is the DEMOCRATIC LIBERALS! Either one will do the trick, unless it happens to be a very rare attacker who has a super tolerance for pain and blood loss or is on some kind of Superman drug. Till yesterday, I carried 22 LR. You ask why? Well, it makes holes in bad guy slash rabbit dog. I am confident that I can stop an attack with 22 LR, because I can shoot eight rounds in about three seconds. Seconds. Center body mass, palm size group. But as I wrote before, I will be sent to Jolly for that, and I don't like small places. So I purchased Big Boar Gun. And hope for rapid blood pressure drop, which will cause unconsciousness, or that this bullet will go troughed and break spine. But barriers and body armor slows 45 down to BB gun effectiveness. I was watching cops and some accidentally shot a 45 at a motel. It went across a 100 foot or so courtyard through the flimsy motel doors, hit a man standing up and bullet fell into man's pocket. He didn't even have a booze where the 45 cal bullet hit him. To say that 9mm is just bass or full, then 45 is totally nonsense. As a patrol officer, I have seen both in action in the real world, not the bullcrap settings of a test range. No way in hell can the 9mm possibly ever match the 45 or even 40 Smith & Wesson at stopping people. Some can say that you can carry more rounds in a 9mm than a 45. Many say that it is all about round placement, true, but I have seen 45 rounds place in non-critical areas and still knock the person off Theor feet. While the 9s? Well, they kept on fighting on Theor feet. Lousy ass training and poor shooting skills of Theor agents. Only because many Pokis depths as hiring more and more females. Switching to 9mm makes them look less sexist. According to some of my police friends who's used a 9mm pistol to the bad guys, even they pump bullets, the bad guy's still able to run for safety. So they now replace their service firearm into M1911 Cal 45. Killing the body in this world is more than sufficient. I don't believe that men can kill the soul. It's God breathed, Genesis 2-7. And since the soul is God breathed and the soul is immortal, that would explain what unbelieving lost people in hell burn, but never burn up. This really isn't the place for an in-depth spiritual discussion, but your comment was interesting. You're right. The soul is eternal, and only God can condemn it to hell, and ultimately to the lake of fire. Actually, we all have a soul, but only true Christians, born-again believers, have a spirit. Contrary to worldwide teaching, not one of us was born or created in the image and likeness of God. In fact, since the world began, only three people have been. Adam, Eve, before they sinned, and the Lord Jesus Christ, who never sinned. Adam and Eve passed on the nature of sin, spiritual death, to the whole human race, see Romans 5, 12, 21. Which is why we must be born again of the Spirit in order to enter the kingdom of God, see John 3, 3. In short, we all live forever, and the only question is where? Spirit people go to heaven, soul people go to hell. Anyone who reads this should know that vital truth. Did you know that Eve was not the first woman? Just saying, look it up. As a beginner, I'm going hiking with lots of bears. Which should I use, 9mm or a 45? In the old days, cowboys put five rounds in their six shooter and money in the last chamber to be used to bury them. The other point is shoot someone in the hand with a 90, drop his gun, shoot them with a 45, then drop their hand. If you're a professional, you should hit where you're shooting at or don't carry.